Ni hao. Welcome to Travel Talk. As you may or may not know, I moved to Beijing about three and a half weeks ago and I have finally started to settle down and feel slightly more alive enough to start exploring the city. The past few weeks have been filled with a lot of admin things, for example, getting uh, visas sorted, apartment searching, going to the bank, getting used to my new job, these kind of things. So unfortunately, I haven't had a lot of time to go and explore. But I have you know, 11 months and uh, a week to go and explore. So hopefully, I'll be able to do some exciting adventurous exploring. One of my favorite things about being in Beijing so far has to be the little children that I teach every single day. The, the little language mistakes they make are so cute. For example, one of my students, um, he was reading uh, a book and one of the words was store, but he kept on pronouncing it as story. Uh, but he finally got it, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> one of my least favorite things about Beijing so far has to be the taxi. When you're in England or London, you when you call a taxi company or you hail a cab, say, oh, I'd like to go to Denmark Street, please. So, okay, in you go, and you go in the cab and take you to Denmark Street. Great, right? Thing is, as a foreigner in Beijing, it's slightly more difficult. Firstly, the taxi drivers almost exclusively speak Chinese. None of them speak English, I don't think, anyway. <laughs> the second thing about Beijing taxis is that you have to give famous landmarks that are near where you want to go because very few Chinese taxi drivers know the different street names. So what you have to do is either have to show where you want to go on a map and hope they know where they want to go or try to remember a famous landmark and hopefully the taxi driver will understand you and get you to where you want to go. I am having a fun time in Beijing so far. I am starting to meet all my fellow foreign teachers. We've met up a few times in uh, an American bar. I say American bar because it seems to be what Amer uh, Chinese people think American bars should look like and it has lots of flags everywhere and uh, people writing on the walls. I can get cold beer there so I'm not complaining. <laughs> As I mentioned before, I'm going to be here for another year and although I have the list of places that I want to go to, if you have any places that you want to see or find out more information on in Beijing, let me know in the comments below and I will try to make a video of me going there or at least reply to your comment and try to find out as much information as I can uh, for you. Seeing different things than I would usually go and see for me has always been a fantastic experience and I'm always open to seeing new things. For now, Sight Jen, over and out.